and uh, hi, this is Mike from ESC Cast. This afternoon, we're very privileged to be with uh, Lucas and Stereo Mike representing Greece this afternoon in uh, Dusseldorf in, for Eurovision 2011. Hi, guys. Hello, how there. are you? Hi. Hi. How are you enjoying London and how are you finding things so far? As Mike previously here, yeah. uh, I love London. I told to the manager here to leave us to stay another one or two days. Okay, so, so do you have other plans while you're here? Or? Uh, last night we were in the LGR Music Awards in a Hellenic TV show okay. and today we will be in Westfield Shopping Center okay. in a celebration with EOT, uh, it's a Greek uh, organization. Okay. We made the celebration Greek, and uh, tourist. tourist. Yeah. Okay. Right. We will be there. Okay, so uh, maybe we can talk a bit about your national final. Um, how did you find that? What was the process of selection? And uh, how did it feel to be one of the favorites? Well, it was, uh, it was a really good feeling because it meant that people already liked our song. And that's the important thing for any every musician, despite the competition itself. Uh -huh. But um, obviously that puts more pressure on us okay. towards the, the big night. Uh, I think the good thing that happened between us is we really we didn't know each other before we okay. this song. Okay. We got on really well and that really helped because we became good mates and we helped each other. I really enjoyed the final and of course we really enjoyed the results. Okay, because that was kind of my next question was how did this collaboration come about? You guys didn't know each other before. How did, what was the process in that? Well, we met each other after recording the song. The, the record was made for internet. That's it, because I live in London. Uh -huh, yeah. So this is my hometown really now. Um, and who put you two in touch? Well, uh, I spoke to the composer, Christoph okay. uh, Lopez, and uh, he played me the song over Skype uh, when the, the song was composed to me, okay. which already featured the lyrics from Eliana Rahali and already featured the great performance. Okay. And I could really, I, I got goosebumps when I heard it, so I thought, well, that's my encore towards following or doing a song at any point. I love it completely. The idea was from uh, Mr. Liras, uh, and I'm a big manager in Greece, I love the guy. He thought of the idea of combining the two styles and then put it towards the composer and the lyricist who made this beautiful thing. But how, what did you think about combining rap with, with traditional music? Uh, probably something new. Okay. And in the, even in the Greek ears. It's something new. Uh, to be in the same song, rap music, hip hop music and folk Greek music. And I think uh, when we make some, some when we make something new it's uh, difficult to the people to uh, hear it, to accept this new thing. But uh, after the Greek uh, national final a little uh, people uh, gave us the sense that he he liked much our song, and with this power, we're going to this Okay. And uh, coming on to Düsseldorf a little bit, can you tell us anything about the staging in Düsseldorf? Would there be any changes from the national final staging? Um, so the director, we, 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 we basically, it's okay, we're basically leaving all that to our uh, director we respect very much, but who is here? Who is your director? <laughs> it's Mr. Rigos. Okay. Um, now what we, of course, whatever you do in any performance, and even though it's the performance that won us the, uh, the national, yeah. Of course, then there's a lot of time to progress and move further. Yes, it's that's a bigger what stage. And it's a bigger stage. Arena. We're taking it to Europe, and of course, uh, we we have started and we keep on starting what we've done, mm -hmm. and we'll we'll improve it. That's we got enough time to make it even better. We had a little rehearsal yesterday, even yeah. even okay. even for the shows I now. Think, so I think that the main idea is to show the two um, to call the two worlds, okay. the one of hip hop and rap world, okay. and the Folk, Greek folk music yeah. world. Yeah. world, world. Okay. This is the main idea. Okay. So. Okay, and going back to collaboration, have uh, any of you collaborated with any other artists in the past? Uh, yes, with other people. I've, I've, worked with, uh, I've worked with people from um, from Greek music who okay. don't belong in hip hop necessarily. Okay. Um, in fact, I'm probably one of the MCs and producers in Greece who have really actively done that more and more so. I do believe in the mixing of styles when it's done in an organic way. I work with uh, the great uh, Paris Alexei in Greece, uh, who sings, I suppose we could call it folk music, but real Greek music as well. 
And because melodies and rhythm is such an international language, I, I don't find those uh, separation, segregation styles uh, that important if there's a real musical link between them. So that's why I was so open to collaborating with Lucas as well. Lucas, have you, have you worked with any other artists recently? Or uh, from Eurovision in particular? Uh, I was working beside uh, Peggy Sin and the Getty Middle Okay. Yeah. Greek uh, folk singers. Yeah. Okay. Mostly. Uh, because um, I am a folk singer in Greece. This is rock folk singer. Yeah. I want to be. Um, okay, I'm, I'm in the first steps. So yeah. Eurovision is one big step for me. Okay. And uh, I wish everything goes well. And, and what about plans for collaboration after Eurovision is over? Do you see yourself I want him together, together again? I want him in my CD. Okay. <laughs> what happened yesterday? It actually happened on there. Um, yeah. Lucas was on uh, London Greek Radio. Uh, I was teaching at the University of Westminster, so I took a little break to, to interview on there. Okay. And they, they asked us that same question, and I, I took the risk of saying, look, I want Lucas on my next production, okay, my next so album. Okay, so can expect more from both of you then. And then he did the same on Hellenic TV. So, uh, I think... He, he asked me, yeah. you said to the radio, he asked me to, to make uh, a song in his TV. Okay. But uh, at night, in the Hellenic TV, I asked him to be on my side. Okay. So that would be a plan so, of collaboration. We enjoyed yeah. the CD together then. Maybe we'll be together. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, just uh, touching on the uh, X Factor, because you came, you came from the X Factor uh, room. Can you just tell us how that was and what that felt like to win the show? I think it's uh, X Factor is uh, a small picture of your vision. Mm -hmm. um, it was something new for me again. Uh, it was the first step. Okay. Uh, it was a big experience uh, with good and bad memories. But I think we're keeping the good memories at uh, every time. I keep walking. Okay, and, and Saki's hosted that show. Uh, you know Saki's. Yeah, 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 we know Saki's. Uh, he, has he given you any words of advice for, for Dusselbord? Uh, what to expect from the Saki's talking. Say, uh, about your vision? Yeah, he's been there twice. So yeah. Maybe we can put some advice. I have a long time to speak with uh, Saigis okay. and for your vision. But when he was um, in uh, X Factor, um, he was beside us. He, um, he told us some advices for the next, for the tomorrow of X Factor. Okay. And I think he's a. Uh, um, the man who can say advice is because I think that in Greece, sex is the expert. Yeah. Okay, so. Okay, uh, and so, Mark, have you heard any of the other songs in your vision this year yet? And do any of them do, any of them do it for you, coming from a rap background? Yeah. Obviously, obviously, my scene is not traditionally associated with your vision. I've been, I've been sort of an outsider, even during the Greek um, competition and, and uh, as far as this goes further. Um, I've actually tried to stay away from listening to anything yet because I want to stay in this sphere of working on songs as well as I can. Okay. Uh, but I'm pro I promise I'm going to study all the other songs uh, okay. so I know what, I'm, what, what we're going to face. Um, I'm also half Croatian, so okay. I already have a lot of love for the Croatian entry. Yeah. I live in England, so I got uh, so you, so you like a lot of respect for Blue. Okay. <laughs> And um, mostly my parents having worked for uh, German companies all their lives in tourism. Okay, so you're aware of later. I feel, I feel that this is a great European party and that yeah. we're all going to do our best. But I promise I'll study the other entries very soon. Okay, cool. And um, what other places are you going to be visiting on your promo tour? What other plans have you got to, to get around Europe? Um, is there anywhere you'd like to visit that you don't think you're going to be able to get to? And maybe you'd like to say some words to the people in the countries that you won't be able to get to on your promo tour? Uh, the schedule is, uh, is about Belgium and uh, Holland, uh, Brazil and Amsterdam, uh -huh. and maybe to Constantinople. Okay. 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 Send some love to Croatia, being my other yeah. country. Um, so I'll say, I'll say it in Croatia, shall I? Yeah, okay, say it in Croatia. Okay. Hvala lijepa. Do vidjenja. Oh, you speak speaking Croatian. Of course, yes. Yeah. Okay. I want some, some, to send some kisses to Cyprus. 
Okay. Yeah, you, you, you were born in Cyprus, is that right? And I uh, grew up in Cyprus. Okay. So, you can see... Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> that's so cool. And uh, the next question is, uh, the Greek delegation won the wild card for the draw for the semi-final and picked to last place. Do you guys see that as an advantage or a disadvantage? And would you have picked that slot yourself had you been choosing the position? I think it's a big advantage to be in the final place, in the final uh, position okay. to represent our song. Uh, because, you know, sometimes in, this, in the shows, the... Um, the pictures that they stay in the brain is the first or the last. So the last position is, I think, very good for us. Okay. Mike, you, you know, I, I do, yeah, I was quite happy. Um, I thought I thought it's a little omen of good luck. Uh, it's nice to be given the choice. Of course, uh, any artist likes to play in a, in a position where the images, like you said, are going to stay in people's minds. So I'm quite happy with that. It does mean that we got to walk even harder to make it really electrifying and big. So okay. yeah, we're up for that. And then, um, I'm not sure if we'll be able to do it here, the sound's not great, but we're hoping we'll be able to get you to sing a little bit of what's my dance. If you don't want to do that here, that's now. fine, because it's, you know, we're nervous. It's happening. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. okay. Just uh, sit there with the table. Maybe, right. maybe they will love us. Or yeah, you, <laughs> you never know. <laughs> so. Okay, let's, let's get the timing right. Come on, the best of the play, second, second yeah. round. Okay, we'll go for that. What? Affirmating words, but I still won't forget the language of my body. Some my heart makes some stain in your life, and my losses won't let my soul to surrender. The battle lost my bed, that's my bed. Watch my dance, and I pack as like wings, and I fly. To get by you see that, get a shit, yeah, την έχει η ψυχή μου τη φωτιά Τους φόβους όλους και η μοναδικά Τα βήματα μου κάνω στο Θεό Κι αν πέσω εγώ ξανά θα σηκωθώ Really great. And just one final question: Would you like to say something for the ESC readers? Well, I say thank you for having us here, and uh, it's it's nice to feel a nice bel welcome in London, even though I live here. But it's nice to have my friends come over and receive such a nice uh, warm interview from you guys. Thank you. And I want to thank you too because this is a good opportunity for us to meet. Because I think you will be in Amsterdam too, but yes, yes, we will be. there would be some uh, cows there. Yeah. So <laughs> here is it's a good opportunity yeah. for us to meet you. Thank That's you. But thank you for coming. Okay, guys, many thanks for your time. It's been really nice. Thank you. Best of luck in Dusseldorf, and we'll see you in Amsterdam in a few weeks, and in Dusseldorf in a few weeks later. Okay. Thanks, thanks very much. Bye bye.